हेलो एवरी वन होप यू आर डूइंग गुड एवरी वन डू मिस्टेक्स एंड फेस रिजेक्शन इन इंटरव्यूज एंड ऑनेस्टली डूइंग मिस्टेक इज ए गुड थिंग बिकॉज वेन यू डू मिस्टेक्स देन ओनली यू विल लर्न फ्रॉम दैम एंड ग्रो बट इफ यू आर रिपीटिंग द मिस्टेक्स देन इट्स नॉट ए गुड थिंग वेन टेकिंग इंटरव्यूज आई हैव सीन मैनी कैंडिडेट्स आर डूइंग मैनी मिस्टेक्स सम मिस्टेक्स दे रियलाइज एंड होपफुली दे करेक्ट इन देयर नेक्स्ट इंटरव्यू but some mistakes candidates even don't realize they think they are giving the right answer and they don't realize this is not the right way to answer then again in the next interview they are giving the same answer and doing the same mistake after the interview they will be confused like why they are not selected even after giving eight answers out of 10 questions why they are not selected now there are many kinds of mistakes for example candidates don't know the answer of the question that is not a mistake many candidates when start giving interviews they don't know what questions needs to be prepared what questions are very much important which question needs more focus but after giving some interviews and after watching my videos slowly slowly they will recognize this mistake and then they are able to answer a lot many more questions so not answering any question is not a mistake uh, when you don't know the question this is like a learning because after the uh, after the interview you know one more important question and it is very much important because before knowing the answer knowing the question is important so it is also a kind of learning for us if this is not a mistake then what is the mistake sometime we know some answer of any question but we know the wrong answer and in every interview we are giving the same wrong answer now nobody is there to tell you that this is the wrong answer at least the interviewer will never tell you this because his job is not there to correct you his job is to evaluate you so if you have even 1% doubt about the answer then make sure you yourself cross check your answer in this way we can you can correct the mistake easily but again this is not the biggest mistake the problem comes when candidate know the answer but in the interview they are giving one line answer to the interviewer this is the biggest mistake which candidates are doing when they are giving the interviews they are not giving the complete answer so basically what is a complete answer let me give, give you an example here uh, when i am taking interviews i have a list of 20 questions okay now based on the candidate experience i started is asking the questions for example if i ask the question what is the difference between abstract class and interface now 6 out of 10 candidates will answer like abstract class have declaration and definition and the interface have only uh, declaration okay that's it what do you think what will happen now nobody is going to tell this candidate that what went wrong here he will think he has given one right answer right but in interview we have three kinds of answer wrong answer right answer and completely right answer you have to give the completely right answer not just the right answer for example when you were in a school or college how you answered a 10 marks question if you will give me one line answer to for a 10 marks question how many marks you will get the same applicable for interviews also every question is a 10 marks question and you have to try to answer as much as you know about the question so stop giving one liner answers okay one line answer shows that candidate has only theoretical knowledge about the concept uh, give answer in detail uh, consider interviews more as a discussion not as a rapid fire round okay now the point is uh, how to give a detailed answer okay how to elaborate even a simple question uh, what is the most important point of an answer which you must give to impress the interviewer for example suppose interviewer will ask you a simple question okay what is inheritance then first tell the definition in whatever way you remember it okay uh, then tell him how in your own project you have created some common functionalities which you have uh, placed them in the base classes 
and then via the inheritance you have used those functionalities in multiple derived classes of your application you will say what to write why shall i tell the interviewer about my project c one of the main task of the interviewer is to find whether or not you have really used the concept in your real projects or applications or not and if in your answers you will give the example of your own project then interviewer will get the hint that yes this candidate have practically implemented the things now here is one more problem you might say i have never used for example inheritance in my application or project then how can in, in the interview i have uh, like say that i have used inheritance in my project and uh, and i agree with this problem uh, we learn concepts but honestly we do not implement all the concepts in our projects right and that is not necessary also because in the projects or applications we do the things we which uh, the project Uh, required right which are necessary for a good application or project we do not create client projects for our learning okay for example if i know extension methods in c sharp that doesn't mean that i have to forcefully find a new find a way to implement this in my own project right that is completely wrong therefore working in a project and cracking the interviews are slightly two different things in project we use limited things but in the interviews the interviewer will ask many many things but after the interview selection you will not find any of those things in the project you are going to work all right now coming back to the main point if you have never implemented something then how can you say you have implemented this in your uh, own project in your past project because interviewer wants to hear this from you that's why for example if you have learned some uh, new technology right like dot net core microservices angular etc etc now can you say this in the interview that uh, i have just learned this technologies but i have never used it if you will give this answer in that case you know the result of the interview right the point is we have learned something new and now by saying that we have already implemented this in our past projects basically we are giving the confidence to the interviewer and to ourselves uh, ourselves all uh, oh, sorry ourselves also that yes we can implement this concept with 100% confidence in future projects that kind of confidence is required and for getting that kind of confidence one thing is very important and that thing is when you are learning any concept and definition then you must know in which situation or scenario you will be going to use this concept in real applications see it's just not about programming it's about everything whatever things we see in this world which man has created all those things basically exist so to solve some problems similarly in programming whatever concepts are there and whatever new features are coming all are developed by humans only right and why they have created those features to solve some specific problem in a, like in real application in real software applications so every feature or concept in programming has some real usage in real applications and that's why that concepts exists when applications are small then all these features might not be required at that point of time but slowly slowly when application grows then more scenarios will come more defects more bugs then there are different concepts which are used to resolve different problems so the point here is whatever you learn you must know what is the use of this concept in a real world application then only uh, like you will get the 10 marks out for your answer and i promise then the interviewer interviewer will be more convinced about your knowledge in my case if i have uh, like 10 questions to ask in 30 minutes and if the candidate will give detailed answer of first five questions in 30 minutes then my time is finish uh, i even don't ask other five questions and maybe many other interviewers are following the same technique so this is like the other benefit of giving a detailed answer 
with the use case in real application now here is a news for you i am also planning to post questions where i will be more focused on the usage of the concept in the real world application for example in which situation you should overwrite the method in your applications when you should use extension methods in a real world application slowly slowly with patience we will learn and reach uh, like learning the things basically based on the applications for that do not forget to like and subscribe the channel uh, before saying bye uh, i want to say all the best to all those candidates who are trying for interviews my best wishes are with you and i will help you guys in every possible way my best advice is uh, while preparing for interviews if you are facing rejections then have patience and never ever give up this is not an IES exam uh, which will happen once a year, okay? There are thousands of companies out there and for sure 100% you will be soon selected in some good company. That is my faith. Once again, all the best.